we're going to look at a little bit about how Matilde works to help learn how to use the tool effectively. Starting from the home page, notice there's a toggle hints button here. This does different things on different pages, but essentially on whichever page it'll display a hints box at the bottom of the page. Hints has different levels. If we toggle it again, we go from level 1 to level 2, which could cause more boxes to appear at the bottom of pages. If we toggle it again, it'll go back to 0. If we look at an SQL injection page, such as user info and toggle hints, there's a level 1 hint. Toggle again. And on this page, there is level 2 hints. The level 2 hints tend to be much more explanatory and in a lot of cases simply tell you what to do. This one has two level 2 hints, one for cross-site scripting and one for SQL injection because the page is vulnerable to both. There's also a toggle security. This makes the pages progressively more difficult to attack. Toggling that to level 1 will enable some weak defenses, essentially what amounts to JavaScript validation or JavaScript filtering of some kind on the client side. Toggling it again should go all the way to level 5, which is presumably secure, although several bugs have been found and patched in level 5. If you mess with the site and end up breaking it in some way, you can always hit set up and reset the database, which just puts Vitality back to its stock condition. The menu is organized at first by OWASP topic A1 through A10. This is the OWASP 2010 order. And within each category of OWASP, there will be several subcategories of different things you can do. For example, the A1 injection has about a dozen different kinds of injection, from SQL injection types to HTML injection, operating system command injection, JavaScript, parameter pollution, style injection, and JSON injection. A page can show up more than one time because pages are vulnerable to lots of different vulnerabilities. Some of them are vulnerable to the same types of vulnerabilities multiple times. Cross-site scripting is similar. Depending on how the injection occurs, it breaks down into different categories. There's an others category for items which used to be in the OWASP 2007 but are no longer, plus some items that are in the SANS Top 25 or in the PCI specifications but are not necessarily in the OWASP Top 10. This includes the JavaScript security that is related to toggling the security to level 1. There's documentation available and some extra resources available as well. On the left side of the menu is the Twitter account where updates on Matilda are released and the YouTube channel where these videos are found.